Greetings, fans, friends, and family. Your Crafty Diva Cat here with another in our quick Christmas gift craft series. The craft for today is a beaded barrette. Get this nice close shot so you can see it. It's really simple to make. These are great to have on hand if you do craft fairs because they make up really quick and you can sell them for a decent amount of money for the amount of work that you put into them. They're also fun craft to give away or to do with kids at birthday parties or sleepovers. All you need is a bracelet blank, and I've already got this one taken apart. First thing you're gonna do is take off the two inner pieces, this arm here and this part in the middle. And you need some beads, glue, and craft thread or embroidery floss and a needle. So you're going to take your craft glue and put a little dot on one end and then grab the end of your floss or your craft thread already threaded onto the needle and you're going to slide one end down long ways along the barat, like so, and then you're just going to wrap it around the end to cover the metal on the end, and the glue will help hold this in place. It might look a little messy when you're first doing it, but if you get clear drying craft glue, that's not going to cause a problem. So then grab your needle, and if you're on the end with the pincers, that stick up instead of the open end when you start. You'll need to use your needle to draw your thread underneath there. As I said, you can start on either end. It doesn't matter one way or another. You're going to have to draw it through either at the beginning or the end. Draw it right through. And then you're going to give the center of the barrette right here another little line of craft glue. And you don't need much, just a nice little smear along the center. Make sure you're holding it by the opposite end. Press that tail end against the glue to secure it. And then you're going to wrap this a time or two again around. And then all you're going to do to go the length of the barrette is grab a bead, slide it down, all the way to the barrette and then start wrapping the floss around and wrap it around until it covers the barrette on either side of the bead and then when you have enough space that another bead is going to fit flush against the first, just choose another bead from your stash, slide it on down, hold it in place, and again start to wrap. Now these can be as colorful or as plain as you choose and as your stash of beads allows. You can do great name ones with um, silver, you can find silver initial beads at craft stores and each girl can put their name on their barrette or you can use a school name or use the number ones that come with the initials to put Girl Scout troop numbers. Really anything you like. All you have to do is keep picking up beads as you work, sliding them down until they're flush against the barrette, and keep wrapping that floss around. Now if you're worried about doing this with kids and using needles, get the big tapestry needles and get the bigger barrette blanks and if some beads have huge holes, I mean these wooden ones that I'm about to add, a tapestry needle is more than going to fit through the hole on that bead. 
So if you need to use a tapestry needle, they're quite dull. They're made for sewing yarn pieces together. You can even find plastic tapestry needles in the stores if you're worried about it. Um, they are, you know, simple, non-toxic, easy to use. When you get to the end, add your last bead, add another dab of glue on the back, on the very end, past that little tab. Then wrap the end tab with more embroidery floss. Flip it over to the inside, which typically looks kind of messy, but that's fine. And to secure the end of your thread, you're just going to run the needle underneath the other thread. You may have to help kids with this if they're doing it. Pull it through. Cut it off. pieces of the barrette back together and you'll have a completed beaded barrette in about five minutes. For more tips, tricks, and lessons on all kinds of crafts, including jewelry making and cr quick Christmas gift crafts, check out Crafty Diva Cat on Facebook and Twitter. As always, thanks for watching and happy crafting!